Thanks for joining us. I'm Maria Sorreo. The city of Rancho Palos Verdes is stepping up its efforts to monitor the Rancho LPG storage facility in San Pedro. The facility located near the border of Rancho Palos Verdes stores more than 25 million gallons of butane and propane in two large refrigerated tanks. Recently, the city council voted unanimously to become a more active participant in working with the city of Los Angeles and the agencies that regulate the operation. Residents concerned about public safety asked the council to be more proactive. RPV Mayor Anthony Mizetich discussed the issue with Liz Brown Swanson. The action by the city council last Tuesday night uh, steps up our vigilance even more. Uh, we've asked the neighboring cities to come on board and, you know, uh, be a concerned party, if you will, uh, about the facility and, and make sure that monitoring and instead, you know, it, yes, uh, keep the monitoring uh, in place, be vigilant about it, uh, talk to the city of Los Angeles and all the regulatory agencies, EPA, fire department. Uh, all the California uh, agencies that are concerned about these types of facilities, keep them in uh, on the facility to make sure that they remain in compliance. And so we're, we're forming that co coalition as a result of the city council action to uh, make sure that all the cities are, you know, watching this and being vigilant as well. But, but why now all of a sudden, I mean, this has been a, an issue if it comes up and it goes away. Why all of a sudden now were the residents coming forward and asking you? Was there something that sort of came up? That well, the residents actually, yeah, they, uh, they approached uh, Council Member Brooks and uh, brought it to her attention. She mm -hmm. brought it to the council uh, as an agenda item so we could discuss it and, and learn more about the facility. Right, and I know one thing I noticed that kept coming up repeatedly was about insurance. Like, yes. And I know and, that you and, directed and, staff to, to find out about what kind of insurance does this facility have, right? Yeah, because there's, there's two uh, different versions of what a worst case scenario would be and how bad it would be. Um, and insurance was one of, the, one of the key issues that we discussed in that, in that, uh, in that council meeting. And so we made a motion that the city attorney would seek the insurance coverage from Ranch LPG, and they were more than willing to offer their insurance coverage and provide that to the city attorney. So we as a council will be aware of what their insurance coverage is should they have some type of, um, you know, mishap. Okay. Anything you want to add again, just so we can inform residents rather than to alarm them that there's, you know, just to... Oh, I mean, the, the facility is being operated in full compliance. It is uh, meeting all the requirements of the regulatory agencies, but we just want to make sure right. that it is... You're doing your due diligence. That we are doing our due diligence, protecting our residents um, and uh, making sure that they're operating it in, you know, like I said, in, in full compliance and making the other neighboring cities aware of this issue so that they can weigh in on it and um, uh, put the same kind of pressure that we are putting in as a neighboring city on both the, the facility and also on the city of LA because it's, it's actually in their, right. their um, uh, area, but our residents are nearby. So mm -hmm. we have to be very vigilant looking out for our residents. A representative from Rancho LPG addressed the council and emphasized the facility's clean record since opening in 1973. The facility is owned by Plains LPG and is inspected frequently with nearly a dozen agencies overseeing the plant. And at Trump National, it's a sign of the times that a new Trump sign has been officially installed. The Trump National Drive sign was received with a celebration at Trump National. With all the details, here's Liz. Okay, Maria, well, here I am standing on Trump National Drive. The name is official and everyone here is celebrating. So we are very, very excited and we, again, it's a long time coming and to be able to see that, you know, after eight years of working here personally, it's, it's a great, great um, thing to have happen. So we're happy. And so you're having a party. Talk about what's going on here. We absolutely are. Um, it's a celebration and in honor of the name change, but it's also a way to say thank you to the residents that really are our neighbors, Ladera, Linda, Seaview, and anyone else who heard about this, you know, they just come on down and they're having a great time. And again, it's a great way for us to get to know them and to let them know about exciting things coming up. Um, I know you 
said you were the Ladera Linda Homeowners Association. Talk about the excitement of what's happening here at Trump's tonight. Oh, well, we're delighted that they decide, the city council has decided to change the name of the street. I think we're very happy Trump is here. Like uh, Trump's very much, and we come up here very often. And I appreciate what Trump is doing for the neighborhood. And I think it's a good thing that uh, the city council allowed it. And how about you? I, you agree with your wife, I'm sure. But what do you think, what do you like about having this right here in your neighborhood? Oh, it's wonderful, especially with the renaming of the street. I think that's very appropriate. This is a nice event. Uh, Trump goes out of their way to, uh, to take care of the neighborhood, I believe. I mean, we've had several meetings with them, talked about emergency preparedness and uh, how we could interface with them during a, an emergency and, and so forth, uh, supplies and places for people to stay. Joining me now is former RPV Mayor Marilyn Lyon, of course, also now chairman of the board of the Peninsula Chamber of Commerce, and you have many titles, but <laughs> today you're here to celebrate what's going on with the name change of Trump National. Talk about that. You've seen a lot happen to finally get to this point. I I have seen a lot happen. I mean, Ocean Trails was great while it lasted, but now it's Trump National and and the, the name change is proper. And I think uh, when people are coming from far away, they're not familiar with the peninsula, it makes sense they're going to be looking for the name Trump. This helps people get here. Well, I think it's great. I think it's great for him to, to offer this to the neighborhood. And uh, in fact, I drove by this afternoon and I saw the actual sign go up and they were, you know, making sure it was level. It was, it was great. It doesn't get better, any better than this. You have a new tapas menu going on right now. Yeah, actually, uh, we're starting our new tapas launch and we actually decided to coincide with the actual sign changing for, our, for the club. So it was kind of a win-win situation. Uh, we are starting our new tapas Thursday. So every Thursday from now on, we will have a small limited tapas menu with just little, little bites of food, you know, and cocktails to go along with it. Your boss, Donald Trump, is not here. But what do you think he's thinking about the, the, the progress, I guess, that you might call that's being made? I think he's very happy about it. I think he understands that there is a shift. Um, and that he is also embracing it too. He's very happy about that. It's something that is, you know, less of a worry to him now. And he just he knows that things are moving in a positive direction. And I think all of us we want to make it continue to go down that road. And of course, the best way to find out what's happening here is to go on to TrumpNationalLosAngeles.com. Back to you in the studio, Maria. Every year, the Palos Verdes Chamber of Commerce celebrates a very deserving resident who stands out for all they do in our community and beyond, and this year was no exception. Liz Brown Swanson caught up with the new Citizen of the Year, Rosemary Humphrey. Hi, Maria. I'm here at the 2012 Citizen of the Year Awards. There are more than 200 people here, all to recognize outstanding volunteers. Being named this year's Citizen of the Year is outstanding community leader Rosemary Humphrey. Also being recognized are two nonprofit organizations, the San Pedro Peninsula YMCA and the Kiwanis Club of Rolling Hills Estates. Let's check out the awards. deserve being citizen of the year. You're citizen of the year every year, but congratulations. Thank you. I'm really honored to have this, and actually I'm honored to have this because I represent, I feel, all the volunteers we have on the peninsula. I didn't do it alone. I accept this award on behalf of everyone who labored alongside me, whether it's uh, children, adults, senior citizens, we all did it together. So I'm real thrilled for the recognition. You've served on the Palos Verdes Estate City Council for years. You're principal of Rancho Del Mar, PTA, go on and on, great mom, outstanding woman. What motivates you? I think what motivates me is the opportunity to actually work with people. That's what I like. When I, when I was asked to run for city council originally, I said, I'm not a politician, I'm just a volunteer that likes to work with people. And the then mayor said, but that's the kind of person we want on our council, the, the kind of person that likes to work with people, and that's it. So I've always just responded to people, assisted people, helped people, and I found it, it pays it forward. In turn, they support me, they support my activities. So it works in the whole community. But also, you wear so many hats, you're also principal at Rancho Del Mar. How is that going? I mean, that's very exciting for you. Well, Rancho Del Mar is a wonderful experience. I took that job about 12 years ago, 
when they needed a new principal and I said, well, I'll do it for a year till you find a permanent person. I found I really loved being able to design a program for students that need to accelerate their program in an individualized way, whether it be to catch up or to graduate early. And so many of them come back, come, come back and said, you made a difference in my life and uh, thank you, keep it going. And it's just a wonderful program, wonderful staff and great support from the district. Rosemary uh, exemplifies the best that the community has to offer. I've known Rosemary for over 20 years. We both came onto the city councils together in the early 90s, and Rosemary stayed, and she stuck with it. But then later on, um, I worked together with Rosemary in the school system, and she's at Rancho Del Mar as the principal, and I was a special education teacher with her. And I have to say, she is so completely dedicated to the citizens of the community, not just Palos Verdes Estates, the students in our community, and the overall well-being of the people. And I just think she stands for everything we want to be, and the world is a better place because Rosemary is here. We are so excited to honor the iconic Rosemary Humphrey as Citizen of the Year, the San Pedro, YM, San Pedro and Peninsula YMCA for their 95 years of service. They're going to receive our Best Nonprofit Award and the Gwanis Club of Rolling Hills Estates will be receiving the Outstanding Community Service Program Award, which is a brand new award this year. This award has gone on since 1976. The theme tonight is about creating opportunities. All these honorees understand, about, uh, understand creating opportunities. Talk about that. Well, they have all gone above and beyond in terms of their hours, their commitment, their dedication to creating opportunities for others, whether it's the scholarship program that the Kiwanis Club puts together, or Rosemary when she's mentoring students in her role as a professional educator, or the San Pedro Y, which is open to anyone regardless of age or income. So you will hear this evening during the course of the program just a myriad of ways in which these organizations are giving back to the community and improving the quality of life for everyone. Okay, Maria, it was really great being here at the 2012 Citizen of the Year Awards. Congratulations to all the honorees. Back to you in the studio. And when we come back, we take you to a local school where parents and teachers work together in the classroom. And in sports, a Dodger pitcher wins a prestigious award and his wife is celebrated for her work as well. We'll be right back. <laughs>